What is going on guys, this is Johnny here, Fish Comes on YouTube, and finally I'm back with another video after a very long break actually, and yes, I'm going to be uploading more videos now, and yes, I'm back to modding as well, so I'm going to start with modding again, but of course that takes a little bit of time, I'm also going to buy a gaming computer, so I'm going to be able to bring you good content, and this is of course going to be a Windows computer, so for all of you Windows users out there, I'm going to put a lot of tutorials on YouTube for you, so you can actually work with all of that as well. So, whoa. Well, the topic today is actually how to create Android apps using the programming language C-Sharp and this does work on Windows as well. So I'm doing this on my Mac because it's quite convenient for me because I don't have to run my second operating system which is of course Windows but you can also do this on Windows quite easily and yes you can actually use Visual Studio 2012 or 2010 or whatever you prefer. So I'm going to show you how to program your apps now and this is actually quite easy to do so all you need to do is you can go to new and you're gonna make a new application so you go to C sharp then Android and make yeah an Android application or ice cream sandwich application so this is really the API level right here so um, this also comes with a lot of a um, what is it uh, with a lot of API's and a lot of um, emulators of course so that is quite good and everything is going to be uh, uh, so you can download everything in the description of the video basically um, I'm going to be posting a lot of links alright so now I'm going to show you how to get this to work and how to program with this so I'm going to be opening my hello world application right here for the purpose of this tutorial so it's gonna load in it's actually quite fast and yeah so here we are looks just like C Sharp because it is C Sharp and it is a very good application right here and again this does exist for Windows as well probably not the same design but actually it does exist so who cares alright so to make an app it is pretty important that you have your oh by the way there's going to be a lot of stuff in here first so you're just gonna delete everything except for this base on create bundle so this all this stuff is the only stuff which should be in here so um, there's going to be some pre-coded stuff like um, some click count or something which is not really that interesting so uh, we're gonna make our own hello world application okay um, I'm just gonna call this hello world app and this is basically going to be the application of uh, the, the name of our application okay so the first thing we're going to do we are going to tell Android or our Android device that uh, we are working with a lineal layout here. So um, in layout, and I'm going to call this layout equals to a new linear layout. So we are basically creating an instance here, and we are going to reference this. Now this layout has a special orientation, and this orientation basically means it is an orientation. By the way, this is an enum, um, which is horizontal or vertical, and I'm going to take vertical um, okay so now what we're going to do we're going to create our first label and it's not actually called label you won't find anything here you have to use text view and uh, personally of course there are some questions why would you use C sharp for Android app development well it's basically because I hate Java so that's why I really like working with C sharp here and I've been working with C sharp now for about three years so I think it's really quite convenient to have such a beautiful program here okay um so now we're going to create another instance of our text view right here and again we're going to reference this and now our label um, has a text and this text is actually going to be our first Android app um, and now we're going to create a button and again this is how it actually works so this is quite easy um, and we're going to create a new button and again thus of course not but this is a reference um, button that okay and this is going to be the text again but now we are going to get to the events how you set events here so first I'm going to put a uh, click me now we're going to go to the events so what we're going to do, we're going to go to button dot click and now we're going to get this event and we're going to plus equal that's actually how you do it and then this object center event arcs we're going to 
use of that and we're going to put curly back here and now we're going to put that our label text should change once we click the button and it should change to wanted to change to well let's see um hello hello there all caps okay and now label oh no not label of course button dot text um no oh sorry button dot text equals um thanks for clicking um okay and now we're going to end this statement here so you just do that by doing that <laughs> okay quite simple okie dokie so now what we are going to do is actually the last thing we're going to add all of our controls we're going to add this to our layout so layout dot add view and the first thing we're going to add is our label here so label and then we're basically using the same code again layout dot add view and I'm going to use a button and now the left thing to do is actually set the content view and this is going to be our layout simple as that and now this is our first application and now what you have to do you have to go to this debug thing right here so press that play button here and now it's going to build our application and you need an emulator, it's gonna come with a selection of emulators in a second. Hold on. Um, it's still building our app here. Detecting installed packages. Okay, so you have this status bar, whatever you want to call it, up here. Okay, removing previous version of application. Yes, yes. Very good so far. Um, this usually takes a little bit of time, so don't be wondered. Installing application on device. Yeah. Hmm. Well then. Yes, please work. It usually takes a little bit of time, and uh, when you first select the emulator, then ah, oh yeah, deployment uh, deployment complete. And now we can just do this. Now we're gonna go to our apps here. It's lagging, but that I mean okay. So as you can see here, Hello World app. That is our app we created, and you can easily put this on your phone by just going to this uh, drop-down box and changing this to um, release. And then you will have the release. Okay, okay, and here we are, our first Android app. And now you can click, click me. So you're gonna change it. Says hello there, and thanks for clicking. And yeah, so that is our first app, our Hello World application. I hope you like the first videos. A lot of videos are coming pretty soon. So yeah, I'm back officially. And by the way, I have a new company. And yeah, I'm gonna tell you more about this pretty soon. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you liked that. And if you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. My name is Johnny, or Fresh Content on YouTube, and I'm out. Peace.